Welcome back. For the last 40 years, the American Heart Association has worked to promote heart health in South Dakota elementary schools. This year, they're taking a different approach. Our reporter Miranda Page has more on what's in store next semester. The American Heart Association is fighting back against heart disease. Their first line of defense, teaching kids healthy habits. With heart disease being 80% preventable, we have an opportunity to go into the schools. Kids are gonna learn a lot about how to take care of their hearts so when they're older, they don't have some of these issues. JFK Elementary School in Sioux Falls has participated for 20 years. Their students have enjoyed getting involved. We get to jump rope with other students and it's a fun way to stay healthy. Teachers are looking forward to this year's new program, the Kids Heart Challenge. It focuses on physical health, but it also aims to improve emotional well-being and character. I'm looking forward that they're looking at the whole student and not just the physical part of it. So we're looking at the emotional and social part. You know, life is changing and kids need to be looked at as a whole student. There are different challenges kids choose from that they have two to three weeks to complete. Each challenge is assigned a character and once completed, students earn a stuffed animal of the character. A lot of the characters talk about, you know, staying away from salt, sugar, being more active, and then little echo here is uh, be you, so be the best you you can be. The new program also requires kids to do a good deed. It's a great way to have them think about others and challenging themselves to give back to others. I think everybody needs to step up a little bit and be kind to each other. Then at the end of the program, they'll celebrate their success with a physical activity like dancing or a warrior obstacle course. The program begins in the spring and JFK will be one of around 180 schools in South Dakota participating in the challenge. Miranda Page, KDLT News.